Before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not subbed to me by now, my content is fire from stop motions, news videos, reviews, music occasionally. All my social media accounts are linked down below. And now, let's get straight to it. What up, you guys? So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I want to talk about something that's been floating around the past couple days in the Transformers gaming community, I guess you could say. Uh, so, DPZ Luna, I've never heard of this person because I, I don't really keep up with gaming info outside of Transformers because I'm not like a massive gamer, unless if it's Transformers. So, um, I've heard of him talking about Transformers Reactivate leaks. Uh, he did get some stuff right months ago with the concept art that leaked, I believe. That was like early last year. I think he was the one to have those leaks. Um, and now he's coming out with some new leaks the past few days. He put up a tweet and I guess a video too. I didn't watch the video. Um, I'm going to read the tweet to you guys. It says, Brace yourselves. Transformers Reactivate just got even more epic. The Predacons and Maximals have arrived, standing shoulder to shoulder with the Decepticons and Autobots. Get ready for an array of unique powers and abilities, unleashing a realm of new possibilities and strategies. But that's not all. As the Transformers universe is vast and diverse, we can't help but wonder on which other iconic factions will join the fray. Perhaps the cunning and elusive Quintessons will emerge from the shadows. Only time will reveal the incredible surprises in store. So, <clears throat> he's obviously saying here, Predacons, Maximals, and Quintessons, those three fractions will be joining Transformers Reactivate along with the Autobots and the Decepticons. Uh, we don't really know too much about the story, but we do know it's sort of like a dystopian type uh, <laughs> uh, storyline where... I guess the Quintessons are invading or something like that. We really, we really do not know at all. Um, I hope more info comes out about this game soon enough because wasn't the last update that they gave that this game was supposed to drop in a few months, like <laughs> later on this year. So you would, you would expect that we would have another trailer or two by now, some more updates, but I have no idea what's going on with this game. The development behind the scenes has been kind of weird. It's been delayed and renamed. It's been it's been in progress, or it's uh, been worked on since 2018, 2019. Uh, the pandemic messed it up, and then it got renamed, and, got, and I think it got switched over from one company to the other. It's been very messy behind the scenes. And at one point we thought the game was canceled for like six months or a year. And then all of a sudden last year we got all this new info about it. So going back to this DPZ Luna leaker. Uh, so I've been reading that he did a video about it. And it seems like he's saying he's under an NDA. But then he tries to reveal footage or audio from the game and stuff. Uh, I would take this with a grain of salt. Uh, obviously, we don't have much info on it, but it seems like he's trying to milk more info than he really has. And he's trying to ride off the wave that he had months ago with those concept art leaks. Um, so I don't know how true th this is. I'm just putting it out there. He hasn't shown any proof that he has insider information on the game. He says he's under an NDA, but talks about how he has early copies of the game. He's showing all this, or he's talking about all this stuff. I'm pretty sure if he was an, at, under an actual NDA by Hasbro, th videos like that would get him in trouble. So I'm not saying he's wrong about what's going on in the game. Again, we have no freaking idea what's going to be going on with this game. But I am saying take this info with a grain of salt because there is certain evidence, like I stated a few a few uh, seconds ago, that th he could be, you know, talking talking straight lies, you know. So I wouldn't. You know, go out and say, it's confirmed, Predacons, Maximals, and Quintessons are in Transformers Reactivate. But I also wouldn't say just yet that it's out of the question, because you do know that Hasbro and Transformers franchise loves to unify the brand. Whenever there's a new movie coming out, they do it with every movie where they try and match the cartoons, games, comics with the media. You see with the new Skybound comics, they're merging G.I. Joe and Transformers together, which is obviously what they're doing in Rise of the Beasts. Uh, you see their 
they're adding Beast Wars and Beast type characters in Earthspark, which by the way, I'll be doing a review on Earthspark later on this week. I gotta finish watching the episodes and get all my notes together with that, so stay tuned for that video. I, I just think, I don't know, uh, there's evidence pointing towards this Luna guy as not too much of a credible leaker for Reactivate. But who knows, only time will tell. I hope this game still comes out next year. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you guys think about this leak? Do you actually think that the Predacons, Maximals, and Quintessons will be in the game? Do you believe this Luna leaker? And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!